Hello everyone, it's Fraser from Motormatch Chesser here, and I'm quite pleased to be doing a special video tour today as we take a look over our 2018 Jeep Wrangler Sahara that's just arrived here on site. This wonderful luxury SUV boasts a 2.2 litre diesel engine with an automatic transmission. The car's only had two previous owners, but it's in absolutely fantastic condition. There's really nothing quite like this Jeep, as it's got fantastic off-road capabilities, but you also feel a bit like a celebrity cruising down the road in it. You'll find the vehicle's also done just slightly over 16,500 miles, which isn't bad considering the age at all. Jumping inside, you'll notice straight away just how much space there is here. And of course, the speaker's up above the seats as well. I can tell you firsthand that the full leather seats are also incredibly comfortable. It's quite easy to step into the vehicle as well, thanks to the step on the side. In the back, there's also plenty more room here. There's room for up to three passengers, and again, full leather comfort. You'll find in addition that there's a 12 volt port and dual USB port and USB-C ports here, so you can connect a large multitude of devices here in the back to either play them on the music player or have them charge up. Going to the rear of the vehicle and the distinctive Jeep tire on the back opens up quite easily. Simply open the bottom door and then raise the top door to gain access to the boot. Of course, you can fold down the rear seats here if you extend it out even further, but there's an absolute ton of space here. To close the boot, simply lower the top glass first, and then close the door of the tyre afterwards. Jumping into the driver's side now, of course, and you'll notice straight away on the door you've got all the controls you'd expect, like your mirror controls and central locking. There's plenty of space all around here, and with our automatic headlight control neatly tucked away to the side. Now that we're inside, we can start the car up with our keyless start. Simply hold your foot down on the brake, and with the keys in your pocket, the car starts up, and we can see it all come to life. You can change through all the menu options here, so you need everything you need to know at a glance. For our steering wheel mounted controls on the left hand side of all our menu options. Using this we can see our fuel economy, our mileage and so on. We've also got our voice control and telephone control here, and on the right hand side you'll find all your cruise control settings, so you don't need to take your eyes off the road. As we start up the media system, you can see it is also including our climate controls here, or you can simply use the panel below. The touchscreen is very responsive and easy to use, and as you can see, we have dual zone climate control. This means that both the driver and the front passenger can change their temperature settings independently from another, so no need to argue if the car is too hot or too cold. It was quite a chilly day when I was filming this, and I'm happy to say that the car heated up nice and quickly, and that the front and rear windscreen cleared almost instantly. There is also heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. You'll also find there's a heated steering wheel option, which is always a nice touch. Going through apps, you can also see, of course, the car's equipped with navigation. You can go on over to our Bluetooth media here, and you can play your own music through a variety of ways, such as connecting through all the USB ports throughout the vehicle, or through Bluetooth wirelessly. There's plenty of additional options here, and you can change all the controls as you do freely. This includes the rear reversing camera, and the auto dimming rear mirror, so you don't get blinded by drivers behind you. For our radio, we have AM, FM, and DAB digital radio on store. This will be easily controlled with the panel below and through the touchscreen, of course. There's all the additional options here, so you can easily turn and off features, such as the parking sensors if you're not a fan of the beeping. 
just down below you'll find a 12 volt port there on the left and in the center all of your window controls and on the right hand side we have our usb port usb c port and an aux port so you can connect a large amount of devices through here Of course, you can change all the menu options here. Simply go into the settings and scroll along, and just about everything can be adjusted. Of course, this brings us onto our gear stick and our automatic gearbox. Simply pulling down brings the car into reverse and turns on the cameras as seen before. It will also display the sensors, both front and rear, on the dash. Pulling down further brings us into drive, and to put it into manual, simply slide to the left at which point we can now push the gear stick forwards or backwards to change the gears up and down manually. Of course, it also reflects on the dash if you're in manual or automatic drive. It's very easy to switch between the two. Of course, we've got all the off-road settings here. The Sahara Wrangler is a very capable off-roader and will mount just about any terrain you drive over. There's plenty of additional storage space throughout the vehicle, of course. And underneath the lovely leather armrest, you'll find even more room. Just below the tray, there's also an additional USB port and room all around. If you're looking for a very spacious and very luxurious off-roading SUV, this is one I definitely recommend. With the surround sound all through the vehicle, it has an exceptional audio quality and of course the remove is removable, so on the sunny days you can drive it like a convertible. Sadly, that's all we've got time for on this wonderful car. So if you want more information on the vehicle, you can go on down to the YouTube video description where you can find a link to the listings online. And of course, you can always find us directly at www.motormatch.com. We also do offer a click and collect service. Anyway, hope you're all staying safe and have a great day. Cheers.